Ishii has nine players returning on offense and ten on defense. And he says they all have worked hard to be more physically ready this season. As a young group, um, we realized, hey, everybody else is going to be bigger, stronger, faster, so we have to catch up as well. The experience on offense starts at quarterback, where sophomore Malachi Rose Burton returns. He started every game as a freshman and offers the ability to put the ball in the air or tuck it and run. Junior Alex Kilburn returns at running back. He started every game since his freshman season in the backfield. They also return their leading receiver in sophomore Dylan Lincoln and their leader in receptions in senior Wyatt Young, a two-year starter for the Knolls, along with junior Jagger Kaler, who could also see time in the backfield. Along the line, they return just two starters. In two-year starter, Garrett Kramer, a junior, he received all Ohio honors last season, and senior Dakota Cochran. While the offense will go through Burton and Kilborn, Ishii likes the supporting cast. I think we maybe not had the skill position talent in the past. Uh, we got a, guy, a lot of guys that work hard and, and are, are decent athletes, and you can tell that because these are the same guys that play basketball and baseball. Uh, they're, kind of, they're kind of jacks of all trades, and they, they work really hard to to be good, and I think we expect some, some good things out of those guys. Defensively, the Knolls return 10 starters. Up front, Cochran at the nose, Kilburn at tackle, Kramer at middle linebacker, and Kaler outside. Young, Lincoln, and Burton are in the defensive backfield. The key for this defense is to get off the field on key downs. I think last year it was one of those things that we just didn't, situational ball, we just weren't accustomed to, and I, and I, I chalked that up at least hopefully you know, to, to lack of experience last year, and I I think uh, the guys understand the system, the scheme a lot better this year, and we can get we can get off the field on those third down situations. The Seminoles will open the season on the 30th when they host Union Local.